Hi there everybody, I hope you're safe and I hope that you're well. Have you ever walked down the corridor at school, college, sixth form or at work and actually one of your friends has completely blanked you? And you're walking away and you're thinking, what on earth have I done to upset them? What are they thinking about me? Do they hate me? When actually what might be going on is that we've just made those assumptions. Okay? And in this week's video, I want us to become more aware of those assumptions and how they can have a negative spiral and affect our mood. So let's get on with it. So with assumptions, we need to recognize that it has the ability to impact our lives in three different ways, at least. Okay. Firstly, assumptions can really impact our capacity to reflect with other people. Secondly, assumptions can block possibility and maybe allow us to question ourselves, why me, is it worth it? And thirdly, assumptions can actually cause negative thinking. And as we know, what we think affects the way that we feel and that can contribute towards a downward spiral of feeling unhappy, sad, low, down, all because of these assumptions. So let's get on with some steps and some points that you can do to better help yourself. While social media is great, and, and I love it, I can't keep up with it, but I think it's great. However, I want us to bear in mind that just because somebody is allowing us into their lives by creating a video or posting a picture or updating their status, is that are they causing us or are we ourselves making assumptions about that particular person or that situation? And with that, we have to remind ourselves, are our assumptions kind of bringing out or allowing us to see the best in people? Because in life, it's all about that kindness and it's all about being open and honest with people, but most importantly, with ourselves too. My first point is about recognizing and challenging yourself when you are making those assumptions. I want you to explore where are they from when are they from? They might be really old. They might be from maybe what your family members have thought. Who are they at? And with those assumptions that you're making about other people, is that because if you're honest with yourself, you're jealous? Is that because that you love them so much that you just want to protect them? Is it because that it's your kind of attempt to try and control them? If we can do that and become aware of when we are making those assumptions, then we can ask these questions such as, what evidence is there to prove that this kind of assumption is true? Is it, what facts do I have? Whose opinions are these? Are they mine? Are they my friends or are they society? So check in and challenge yourself. Another point is about the importance of remembering that you're not going to like everybody out there. Okay, hate's quite a strong word, but you are going to dislike and hate other people. Okay, and that's okay. However, in turn, I need you to remember that not everybody's going to like you. And sometimes what we do, and I've done this in my own life, is that we go out of our way to try and get everybody to like us and for us to try and please other people. When we need to remember that the sky isn't going to fall and the world isn't going to end if somebody doesn't like us. And that actually, instead of worrying about other people's assumptions about ourselves, it's about taking that, that time and that energy and our love and actually kind of giving that to those people that are within our circle of trust and that deserve it and that are kind and caring towards us. Another point is I want you to recognize your self-worth. Going on with those frenemies that we might have or enemies, it's about recognizing that we're good people, you're a good person. And that actually the way that you kind of feel about who you are as a person can actually affect your ability to have confidence in yourself. And when we don't necessarily have that true confidence in ourselves, it can make our assumptions about ourselves kind of even worse. And that kind of fear of what other people are thinking, that spotlight effect on us, when actually everybody's got their own spotlight where they've got their own thoughts and assumptions about themselves. So it's about you remembering your self-worth. It's about you recognizing that you're worth it. And my final point is I want you to transform those assumptions into questions of possibility. I want us to recognize that just because it's an assumption doesn't necessarily, like I said earlier on in this video, mean that it's true. So there's some 
points for you to consider when it comes to making those assumptions. And remember that those assumptions, whether they're fact or not, is about you learning to recognize. Now, if you are making negative assumptions about other people or about yourself, don't be annoyed at yourself but when you become aware and when you challenge yourself. I want you to congratulate yourself. I want you to be like, wow, well done that you've actually realized that that's an assumption and that actually you've got no evidence to prove that that's true. Because that is when we can do that self-discovery and really start to make a difference. It's not always easy. Mm -mm but it is worthwhile. Anyway, you stay awesome and I'll see you all next week. Take care everybody, bye.